but they just point for me to the ball. That's the illustration, that's what we're going to be doing. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to learn about tonal values. So what you're going to start with, okay, is we're going to draw so that you can get confident with the brush. We've got a nylon brush with a fine point. This is one of those brushes that looks like uh, it's cut like at an angle and it gives you a very nice fine point. You can also use a brush like this if you want to. Okay. So I'm starting with my Burnsy and I've got three colors here but actually it's only one color. So if I mix it, I've got my Burnt Sienna which is my main color. I'm going to mix my Burnt Sienna with some dark blue. The moment I mix it with dark blue, it gives me like a burnt umber. So I've got a nice tonal range going towards burnt sienna. Can you see? And then we have some more. Oops. Hey. And then I've got some of this. I'm going to mix it with white. But can you see that I've got a nice range? Look here. From darkest dark. To light to light. Can you see that? Yeah. So this is burnt sienna with white. <laughs> and this is burnt sienna with blue which gives burnt umber. Okay, I can make that lighter as well, which will give me a cool light. Can you see that? Yeah. That's a hot light, that's a cool light. Okay, everybody there. Okay. So what I start with now, I'm gonna be drawing out my ball. We did not put it in my coffee. Hmm. And I quite like using these brushes because um, I like the fact that you can draw a flat line like that or you can draw a really fine line like this. Can you see? It's quite nice. Okay, so I'm just going to use the burnt sienna and I'm going to draw a circle. Nice and loose. It's just a perfect circle. And can you see I'm using short strokes, short, one centimeter strokes. I'm using my wrist to help give me that rounded action. And I'm turning my, my um, paper, my palette or whatever, my painting. And my wrist helps me to maintain that nice rounded action. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect because this is a good way to learn to start a painting because you correct as you go and you need to learn to correct as you go okay so that sort of looks plus minus all right yeah what do you guys think okay so now I'm going to take my bigger brush I'm still using a nylon brush and the reason I want to use a nylon brush is because the technique that we're going to be learning is we're going to learn to blend. It's called blending or the other name for it is wet in wet. And basically blending works like this. I've got a color. Let's say my color is there and I need to get rid of, clean my brush, get rid of the paint on my brush, clean brush. I've got another color. And what I want to do is I want to blend this color into that color smoothly. So I need to get rid of the color on my brush. Get rid of the color. And now I blend the two together. Now can you see there's a smooth transition from the one to the other. But each has their own identity. If I make my brush. This is all information you guys didn't have. You see. No, I'm it's fascinating. <laughs> Um, if I do, if I if I don't make clean my brush, let's say that's my dark color, and let's say this is my light color, and now I start blending, it all becomes one mush. Can you see? It's all the same color. So I have to get rid of the excess paint on my brush. It's very important. That is why you'll often see artists working. They paint one, two, three, clean the brush. One, two, three, clean the brush. Okay. So I start with. You guys can come look here, but not necessarily wash it. No, not wash it, just clean it just off clean with it. a cloth. Yeah. The best cloth to work with is a dishcloth. You know what you dry 